Welcome back to Button Down Gaming. My name is Jay, and I'm playing with myself. All right, after three episodes, we finally have our character created. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, that's a pretty involved process. So it took about half an hour in total or so, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so now that we have our Charming Jack character created, we are going to proceed. Oh, and excuse me, I have water with me. Oh, I'm excited. Oh shit, son. You're freaky. Everything about this spectral figure seems dreamlike. He is a hazy silhouette who seems to be made of blue glass smoke. He wears stylish, well-cut clothes. His handsome bearded face seems hauntingly familiar, though you've never seen him before. He breathes a sigh of relief when he sees you. Oh, we weren't sure that would work. We pooled our strength and channeled it through me to reach you, to wake you up. He glances at the other figures here and frowns unhappily. It took more out of them than we thought. The other reflections, they're more like shadows now. Look, I'll bet you've got a lot of questions. This whole place is basically your mind. Your body's still out there in the real world, healing from that fall. You need to get out there and finish the process. He shrugs. It shouldn't be too hard. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what's hunting me? He closes his eyes. That's... That's a memory I don't want to recall. Large, black, furious. It's our death. It's the sorrow. He closes his eyes. I hope it's lost interest in you. If it finds us, we're done for. You said I had to finish the process. What do you mean by that? After you wake up from this dream state and attune to the tides, you'll need to find something called a resonance chamber. Your body should have landed somewhere near it. Just climb inside that and everything will be fine. Whoa, 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 what do you mean attuned to the tides? Tides are like a force, like gravity or magnetism or something, except they respond to people's actions and perceptions. Your body, that is, your body in the real world, needs the tides to survive. It's not something you need to worry about. Your body will attune as it wakes up. And what's a resonance chamber? I remember pieces about it, but not the whole. It's a crystal sarcophagus. I remember it having five mechanical arms around it and a metal ring set in the floor. I think we we were aiming for it when we fell. When you open your eyes in the real world, it should be nearby. Okay, by the way, it's obvious here that we're all in my head, and they're part of me. Who are these other people? You called them reflections? That's what they are. As I said, it's your mind. You'll find reflections of people you knew, people you met in the real world and with whom you shared some kind of psychic connection. I don't know how or why, it just happens. If this is my mind, why don't I remember any of this? Any of you. It's your mind, a construct built to, I don't know, share thoughts, store your true self. Wait, you know how people say in the first place? This is definitely the first place of your memory. Well, it was the first place for me, anyway. You'd probably know better since it's yours. If you don't remember now, maybe it'll come to you later. Who are you? Um, he pauses and looks down at himself, considering a long time before answering. I'm you. I'm a part of your mind. A splinter. I was waiting here for you. We called you with the memories of the others who were here. I, I don't know what happened next. How do you know all this, all that you're telling me? He throws up his hands in frustration. I'm just a part of you. I look at you and I know this place was made for you, for us. And I remember pieces of knowledge that come to me when you ask your questions, but that's all. So how do I get back to the real world? There's a portal down there. It'll take you back to your body. Just step through it and the whole tides thing should take care of itself. He crosses his arms. When you wake up, find the resonance chamber and activate it. Then we can... What in the hell is that? Oh, snap, son! Oh, that's no good. Oh, it's the thing that's been hunting us. 
Gods, it's the sorrow! Well, it destroyed the portal. And it killed those guys. The sorrow is anchored to those reflections. It's devouring their power. We have to get rid of them. Destroy its anchors or else the sorrow will erase us forever. Its anchors? Crisis initiated. Kill the reflections anchoring the sorrow to your mind. Oh no! A crisis begins when you enter into a dangerous situation. Crises are turn-based encounters where you can fight, sneak, manipulate the environment, or talk your way out of trouble. Now see, usually this is a fight, but in this world it's not always a fight. You might need to make important decisions or things like that. Each turn, you can take one action to attack or activate an ability. You can also make one move. This is very standard, by the way. That reflection near you, kill it. You'll loosen the sorrow's anchor. Use left click to attack an enemy or move to a position. Try clicking the highlighted character now. Effort can be applied to attacks to increase your chance to hit. As with other tasks, each level of effort increases your chances by 20% at the cost of one point from a stat pool. Unarmed attacks use speed, but other weapons and abilities may use might or intellect instead. Yeah, but when is my stat pool, like, increased? I missed. Next time you've got to hit it. Oh, snap. When you apply effort to an attack, it also increases the damage you deal. Different weapons and abilities gain different amounts of bonus damage from effort. Okay, 100%. You've already used your action this turn, and you'll need to wait until the next turn to deal, another ref to deal with another reflection. You can move somewhere to spend your remaining move, but if you want to end your turn early, you can click on the End Turn button in the lower left. Um, walk. Oh, shit. Oh, that's my move turn. Alright, I hope I can get there next time. Now run, get to the next one. You can sacrifice your action for the turn to double move instead of attacking. The movement preview line turns purple when over a position that requires a double move. Okay, so how do I double move? Oh, I just gotta get close to it. Alright. Man, these guys are invading my mind! I wonder if there's like a thing where like the number of things that invade my mind actually has an effect on the game? I'm really curious. I can't miss. All right, here we go. Let's go. Cool. Oh shit, he has a sorrow infection. <laughs> a sorrowfully transmitted infection. Fettles are temporary conditions or status effects that can improve or reduce a character's stats. The sorrow has just placed a fettle on the remaining reflection. You can't remove this fettle. But you may find a way to overcome it. Okay, now what, though? Do I just attack him? What is that fettle? Oh, his defense is high? Oh, where's my weapon? The armor stat reduces physical damage. The fettle the sorrow placed on this character has boosted its armor by 10, meaning it will absorb 10 points of damage from each attack. This reflection's armor is now too high for you to overcome with your unarmed attack. Skist! The reflection is protected somehow. You need to find a way to hit it even harder! Grab that piece of mirror glass. It might have enough residual energy to kill the reflection. Okay. To pick up loot, use left click on the highlighted object, then take then click take all or double click the individual item you want. Go. Let's take it all. 
And how do I equip it? I'm going to guess I have to fight them later. Left click on the items icon in the bar above your portrait. Then click on the character you want to target. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Shimmering glass. Target that guy. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You pried it loose! That thing is a cancer, an infection. It's unstoppable, but you stopped it! He holds his head in his hands. I can't believe it found us in here! He looks at you, terror in his eyes. That thing, the sorrow, it's been hunting you. It's what killed you in the first place. It'll keep hunting you until you activate the resonance chamber. I didn't... I didn't remember until I saw it, but that's why the chamber is so important. You have to get back and activate the chamber before it's too late. The portal to your body is that shimmering dome there. Go! Now! We will go now. Next time on Button Down Gaming. So, won't you come back and watch me play with myself?